First at four in the afternoon rush. We continue following the latest out of Bloomfield right now. That's where an investigation is underway after a deadly shooting took place at a busy intersection this morning. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where it happened right at the intersection of Bloomfield Avenue and Cottage Grove Road. Thanks for being here for Eyewitness News. I'm Kara Sundland. We want to get right out to Channel 3's Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal live with brand new information from police. Aya. Hi, Kara. Yeah, and that victim has been identified as 31-year-old Timothy Ross of Bloomfield. An eyewitness we spoke with says she heard 10 to 12 shots fired. Now police are searching for the suspect's vehicle. They say the suspect is considered armed and dangerous. Now, all of this happened around 9 o'clock this morning at the busy intersection of Cottage Grove Road and Bloomfield Avenue. This area is close to Cigna headquarters and Starbucks. We saw what appeared to have been shattered glass from bullets in the windows of this Toyota Camry. When officers arrived on scene, they found Ross suffering from gunshot wounds. First responders performed CPR on him and then he was taken to St. Francis Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police are searching now for the suspect's car. It's believed to be a smaller type SUV with South Carolina plates JDD 955 a large chunk of Bloomfield Avenue and Cottage Grove Road were closed to traffic but have since reopened. Residents we spoke with today say they are shocked by the details of what happened. Yeah, so I live in this town. It's normally pretty safe, so something like this actually surprises me. But uh, I hope everything is all right. It's unfortunate what just happened. And an accident reconstruction team was out here for several hours trying to piece together what exactly happened. We're going to have much more on this story coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 p.m. In the meantime, Bloomfield police are asking anyone with any information or any video from the incident to give them a call. Live in Bloomfield, Aya Channel 3, Eyewitness News.